All right, so let's talk about waste for a minute. And I'm talking waste in the farm slash farmstead, and I'm talking poop. <laughs> so we're gonna get to all that. So I've just been harvesting greens for my CSA and this bed of lettuce is done. So I chopped off any of the extras and I am tossing it in this basket here. I'm going to take that either to my chickens or to the rabbit. I have a bucket of scrap greens and things and I'm going to take them over to the chickens. Hello. You'll see in there. Oh, the goats are hungry. You'll see in there. I have old microgreens uh, cuttings that they also get to scratch and feast on. All right. Enjoy, little ladies. Often it's the case that not all of my microgreens get sold at market or I have left over from my CSA. And so I will take older ones that I can't really feel good about giving to other people and I take them to our rabbit. Let me go feed these goats so you don't have to hear them crying through this whole video. Okay, so the goats have been fed, so hopefully they'll be quiet now. Um, so basically, the, the rabbit gets leftovers, poops it out, and then I use that poop, collect it, and use it in my garden or my compost. Rabbit poop is pretty, uh, you don't really have to let it age, so I usually just transfer it right directly into the garden. Excuse the mess because I'm in the middle of rearranging things around here, but in the case of the chickens, obviously they poop it out and then I take that straw and stuff and I put it over here into my compost. Okay, so I just recently cleaned out the chicken coop. I have straw mixed with uh, manure here. Got some older stuff there and some older stuff there. A lot of this stuff is going to take a while to break down. Um, uh, I use old root systems from microgreens I toss in here garden scraps, pretty much everything. And this stuff is gonna turn into gold. And I'm excited about that. And I'll be using it a lot more in next year's stuff than I am able to this year because it's not completely broken down even underneath. I'm still learning about compost and it's taking, it took forever to get my compost breaking down. And I couldn't, I was like, why is it taking so long? And I tried different things and I realized I wasn't putting enough grain material in. And so now with it being spring and summer and us cutting the grass all the time, we used to not bag the grass. And now I tell my husband, we have to bag the grass and we have to put it on the compost or we have to give it to the chickens because, or give it to the goats because they love it too. And so that's actually, I like love mowing the lawn now. <laughs> and since I've started adding the green uh, grass clippings and stuff, it has been cooking a lot faster. And so I actually have a pile, cause I moved my compost pile. I actually have a pile over here that's just about ready to go. And I'll probably be putting it in some beds when I plant out my, some of my fall uh, garden stuff. So this right here is remnants of the compost before I moved the pile over there and if I just lift up here you can see that it's turning into this nice hummusy uh, but it is turning this nice uh, brown hummusy texture and should be ready to go here pretty soon here's a better so right here is a canister that I keep up on our kitchen counter and I put all of our fresh scraps in there, fresh produce scraps. Strawberry tops have been in there a lot, banana peels, 
And I also toss in eggshells and then I take it over to the compost every, probably once a week. And what's kind of nice about this is in the top, it has a charcoal filter. So we never smell the nastiness that is accumulating in there. You just dump it in there and then I'll take the pitchfork and bury it under so we don't have scavengers come and get into it. There's another source of waste that we need to talk about, and that is the goat poop. All right, so I guess sometimes give them extra microgreens or I have wheatgrass that I give them, but in general, they have alfalfa as their main source of food and um, goat pellets. And in case you don't know this, goats poop a lot like rabbits, little tiny <laughs> round things and it's hard to I still haven't perfected or figured out exactly how to collect this valuable source of fertilizer um, so let me show you kind of what I'm doing right now and if you have ideas for how to better do this I am all ears because I don't know what I'm doing so in general what I'm currently doing is I will take a rake and kind of get a pile going here. Um, it obviously doesn't collect all of the poop, but it collects some of it. But it also gets a lot of extra stuff that I don't necessarily want to have to deal with. And then I take this uh, cat litter scooper, longer scooper, and yeah, that's basically what I do. I haven't done it a lot because it's tedious work. So needless to say, ooh, Zeusy. Needless to say, goat poop does not get collected as much as it should because of the time it takes for me to harvest it. Huh, Phoebes? What am I doing? Because I'm kind of lazy, what I'm thinking I'm going to end up doing is just occasionally putting stuff into a pile on the pen and letting it sit and then just using a wheelbarrow and hauling it all out um, every once in a while. And it can just sit and kind of decompose this way and then move it over to the compost because just getting the little pellets is not working out time-wise. I think that about covers it for poop <laughs> and waste and composting for now. Uh, if you have questions, uh, suggestions, anything like that, just leave me a comment and let me know.